Hello and welcome to Baswa Recorded Voices. Koiso Falcha Falcha, welcome to the festival celebrating the 50 years of the British Association of Social Workers. Welcome everybody to Baswa's 50th birthday celebrations. Happy birthday. Thanks for being there and just keep modernising and moving on. It's your 50th birthday and 100 years of doing phenomenal social work. Happy birthday, Baswa. Have an absolutely lovely time. Have a huge admiration uh, for all of you. Llong gyfach iadau i cymdaith ys gweithgwydd cymdaith asol prydain ar ei channer can mlwyddiant. Courage and encouragement both come from the word core, meaning heart. And I think social work takes a lot of heart. It's a heart activity first, and the head, hands and feet follow. I'm John Dudley. I chair our Heritage Steering Group. These are extraordinary times. Many of us have faced tests and challenges we couldn't have anticipated even a few months ago. COVID-19 has had a huge impact on our practice and the way our practice is changing at the moment, I think it's making us revisit our why. We can't go out and visit somebody, so we need to look at why were we going to do that and then try and fulfil that in a different way. I would firstly want to acknowledge the pivotal role that social workers have played thus far and indeed the heroism and dedication of all social work and social care staff. I know that your commitment to improving the lives of people in Wales will continue long after the pandemic is over. I've been hugely impressed and grateful for the way in which social workers have stepped in to meet the current challenge. I want social workers to be the highest paid civil servants because they're looking after society's greatest asset, the child and their families. I want social workers to be skipping to work, asking for a greater caseload because everyone out there in the public appreciates the work that they're doing in saving the generation that needs to be saved. Why did we not get as much praise in, in the Thursday night clapping? We cannot and do not blow our own trumpets because we're doing it in somebody else's misery. Cutbacks causing bigger issues, psychological warfare. They say widespread austerity is a life choice. Welfare emphasis gone from our probation services. Why are those women talking about that's called the the spirit of our ancestors? In Malaysia, they have this um, festival called the Night of the Hungry Ghost, and there's lots of marquees in the streets, and there's kind of no expectation for anybody, to, any person, to go in because they're for the ghosts, for the ancestors. And I found these really fascinating. So I've done this series of paintings based on that. However, you know, non-judgmental you are about things, at the end of the day, you are asked for your opinion on what should happen in people's lives and making interventions there. So there's always that um, heavy weight that you carry. And I think that's something that isn't widely acknowledged enough in society. 50 years strong, the world is your family. I qualified in November 2018, graduated in January 2019, then the lockdown came and I realised the how much we needed each other. I remember writing a poem about togetherness because together we can and it was proved that work, our hospital colleagues, uh, care agencies, everybody came together just to make sure that the people that we served were at the centre of what we're doing. I would like more progress 
to be made towards the elimination of discrimination, bias and prejudice for both workers and the people that we work with in the sector. This will be made possible only when every person looks within themselves. I was born in Palestine before it became Israel. I've lived in Paris, I've lived in Vienna, I've lived in London, I've lived in Australia. And somebody said to me the other day, oh, you're Scottish. And I said, no, I'm not Scottish. I'm a citizen of the world, please. Older people play an important role in our society. They are the makers and the carriers of our history, our adored family members, and above all, human beings. Older people have faced many human rights issues during this pandemic. I guess the question we need to be asking ourselves as a society, as social workers, is how did it come to this? Last year I'd hoped to meet you, Margaret, when you received the Andrew Moravia of Apostle Medal from the International Federation of Social Workers. And you were nominated by Basla because of your work to uncover the harm, the evil done to child migrants and to fight for their rights. And also 10 years since the story of what you uncovered, which you told in your book Empty Cradles, was made into a film by our second guest, Jim Loach. The child migrant community as a whole recognised bits of themselves in all of it. As Jim said, you know, it touched him, it touches all of us, it changes all of us. The British Association of Social Workers were fantastic when, we, when this film was first released. Um, and our, our tonight, I mean, in, incredibly supportive. So thank you to, to you. So I think we need a much stronger value base, we need a stronger ethical base, and we need to be more cognizant of human rights. Anyone looking to see how the British Journal has um, told this story about social work, I think won't be disappointed in the articles we've chosen. In the Northern Ireland context, it's very interesting how um, social work research was shaped by the nature of the state. The journal rightly has to make sense of the, the variety of policy making agendas in, across not just the United Kingdom, but internationally. Some of the social problems, some of the issues that social workers deal with uh, have no borders. I think what I've had in my 50 years associated with social work is uh, a recognition of how important the past has been, how it's shaped our present, and I think will also shape our future. I really hope that social work won't became more about paperwork than it's about contact with people. You do need a professional association. You need something to, um, to be a lightning rod for what a social work should become. Baswa and social work uh, continue to be relevant, important, and also necessary. I think that idea of a kind of unified uh, voice uh, for social workers uh, being lifted into public consciousness to make change uh, is a really good one and it's one that I would certainly get behind. There are people who want to tell your stories for you. Do not let them. Use your voice. Surf this wave of hope. For stories help us all to bind and words they help us all to find this thing that we call humankind.